So the December feature drop for Pixel devices is finally here. If you wanna see a deep dive into all of that stuff, I've already posted that video kind of more specifically about the Pixel 8 and just all of the features. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. This video, we're gonna focus in on what this means for the Pixel Fold because I think it's big enough to warrant its own video. There are some features that are coming, like I said, I talked about in this other video, but there's one really big feature that those of us who have been on the QPR1 beta and further have been enjoying that now everybody can finally get a taste of. And yes, I am talking about the ability to set aspect ratio per application. If we jump into our settings here, all the way down here, aspect ratio under experimental, this is finally, finally here for everyone to update to and enjoy. What does this mean specifically? Well, let's jump into an application that has driven me crazy back when this device first came out, WISE. And if we see here, this should pop up in the corner. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna put it back to the app default. This is what this application looked like when you ran it on the Pixel Fold. And seeing it on my screen probably doesn't even really fully do it justice. I don't wanna unplug myself. That's what it looks like on the device, right? And that is just not a particularly good experience. But we can click on this, we can click on full screen, open it back up, and now we have it spanned across the entire screen. And while this might not be a perfect solution, I think most of us can agree that having the options to change it and not just be full screen, we can also do half screen, so widen it out a little bit. I think that will widen it out a little bit if I'm not mistaken. Is that a bit better? Now that pretty much looks exactly the same. So some of these apps, I feel like I've seen 16 by nine, a little bit wider and then full screen. Some of them may or may not have that. I may be wrong about that all together. At any rate, you can stretch your apps across the entire screen. So all of these articles that you've seen where they've talked about the Pixel Fold, they've reviewed it, and even though this feature has been available in the beta, they still talk about it like it's not been fixed because, in all fairness, it hasn't rolled out to everyone out, everyone just yet. It is here for everyone now, so we can all stop talking about that. It's fixed. Now, unfortunately, one thing that popped up in one of the betas and then they took away and never gave back is still not here. If we go to our settings and we go to display, there should be a place right in here that says continue on cover display or something like that. Basically what this would have done is giving you the option to have the device set where if you're on your tablet screen and you close it, the device will just turn on the cover display and continue as if nothing has happened. Now by default, it will do this if a video is playing, but with this setting, you could one, turn that off so it just always locks the device, or two, make it so every device continues. I don't know why this wasn't you know, continued in the later betas, why it's not here now. It worked just fine, but for whatever reason, it is not here. If we go home and we long press on our desktop, let's go to wallpaper and style. Let's click on lock screen. You have some new clocks. Like I think that is a new clock that you can have on your device. I think you can also now set a live wallpaper per screen. Now what I mean here is that you can have one live wallpaper on your lock screen and a different live wallpaper or a different wallpaper altogether on your like actual background, like when the device is unlocked. So let's take this one here and I think that this should be working. Let's click on this and let's click on set. And yes, you can do this only to the lock screen. So now my device has its normal background, but when I lock it, and then go to unlock it here, if I can do this, yeah, it will show that live wallpaper. So that's a pretty nice little quality of life change. Now, something that I actually forgot to mention in my other video that applies to these other devices is apparently you can use these phones now as a webcam. So I'm going to kill my screen capture here. And what you do if I can show this is when your device is plugged in, you click on that notification and you can change it to webcam. So we're gonna change it to webcam. And if I jump over here to the uh, Windows camera app, you can see that that is working okay. Now I will also tell you, it looks all right. It doesn't look amazing, especially compared to like my like, you know, proper camera. Let's try and frame this about the same here. So from that to that, you know, is it better than maybe like your Logitech C920? I think that's possibly the case. It's something you could definitely consider using. So another cool one under about phone and then battery information, you can actually see your charge cycle count. I've charged my device 108 times. Maybe you want to keep track of that. 
Now, like I already mentioned, there was this blog post, and I've already done a video talking about these things, but there are several features in this starting about here that should also apply to this device. So portrait light, moving a light source around in your portrait photos, photo unblur improvements in particular for photos of pets. This is one I'm not able to test just yet because I just haven't gotten what I believe to be a camera app update to enable this. It's coming after this system update. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't see this feature just yet. It's the ability to do the dual screen thing where you're taking a picture, you can see what you're taking and the person you're taking the photo of can see what you're taking because they can see themselves on that cover display that should be rolling out very soon as well. The ability to clean up documents scanned in the Google Drive app should be coming. And then there's several more cool things like repair mode that I've talked about. I'm not gonna rehash this stuff because I've already talked about at length in another video. So guys, that's pretty much what we have for this QPR1 December feature drop update. It's a really big one for the Pixel Fold because one of the biggest complaints with this device, apps with pillar boxing, is now fixed. So guys, hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy.